Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're enjoying yourself so far. Before I introduce one of our important new stakeholders, I, I want to briefly review our new development campaign with you. I, I promise this will just be five minutes. The campaign is called Project 21, and our goal is to obtain commitments for $10 million a year in funding for five years. At SRF, you've already heard us today talking a lot about building a robust rejuvenation biotechnology industry as our best hope to respond to an aging society. Now, we know that building industries is usually the kind of talk reserved for budgets like CIRM or NIH, but we've, in, we've accomplished an incredible amount with what we've had. Very limited funding, but we have relationships with a large number of top regenerative medicine and gerontology research institutions. We have relationships with cutting edge investment groups. We've had several technologies move from basic concept to startup. And we've built a genuinely global network and that's evidenced in part by the breadth of our live stream today. Hi again. But there are still major barriers to the development of rejuvenation biotherapies. So when we began looking at what we would like to accomplish for the next five years, <clears throat> we decided we would reorganize our activities to better respond to these challenges. Foremost among our concerns was how we, as quite a small organization, could help attract more attention and more funding to this whole field from government and from private industry. Oh, I apologize for that. <clears throat> to do that, we think we need more technologies for clinical application and a better environment for clinical trials than we have today. That's what Project 21 is about. Again, we look to raise $50 million for operations over five years. That would be a moderate budget increase for us, but it will be a very significant change in what we'll be doing for the next five years. Some of our basic research programs will continue, some of our awareness programs will continue, and especially our highly successful internship program will, of course, continue. But most of what we do will be or oriented around three needs creating a more robust technology pipeline so that there will be more startups, creating better co collaborations that can alleviate the lack of basic research funding, and creating an industrial community to address the need for new ways to develop and regulate products. The first of these programs is Bridge 21. This is a philanthropic investment program to close the current gap between basic research and development capital. Biotech funding is already a bit broken, for genuine rejuvenation technologies with their added development and regulatory challenges, early funding to move technologies to the private market often just isn't there. So we're going to move more of our research funding into short-term projects designed to create seed round tech transfer opportunities. This is not bridge capital in the traditional sense of the word, uh, but it's far upstream from that. We'll fund maybe 10 projects per year in short, discrete bursts designed to move an IP position or a development program forward just far enough to a point where early, early private funding can take over. The second of these programs will be to collect several existing and proposed projects into a single center of excellence and house it at a major institution for regenerative medicine or aging research. We've worked with many of the top universities and institutes in these fields, but we're hoping that by collecting more of our projects in one center, we can create more collaboration synergy and get much broader input and guidance from the outside into our programs than we do now. If our campaign is successful, we'd like to allocate at least 10 million to such research and have every program done in collaboration with or under the guidance of a host institution PI. As I noted earlier, we're hoping the first center might be right here at the buck. Finally, we've started an alliance program to create a community to address challenges in investment, manufacturing, and regulation. Now, this will be a comparatively small financial part of our organization, but no less important, because some of the challenges we face, they just come with the territory. In some cases, we're going to need to learn how to treat multiple forms of damage that all relate to curing one disease. In some cases, we're going to need to learn to be more flexible in regulating interventions that are designed to be used years before pathology develops. In some cases, we may just need better standardization or better biomarkers of biological aging. And these are not jobs for a small organization like ours. These are jobs for a very broad, self-identifying rejuvenation community. 
We have a new director of that effort, David Brindley, and you'll be hearing more about the Alliance program in sessions tomorrow. If you want to have any inf more information about this, you'll find it in your conference materials or you can ask any of us at SENS for the Project 21 brochure or the Project 21 clinical projections document. 